it's starting to come together little by little right now I'm placing the water pump which is right here the Bosch water Audi water pump what I need to do is to set the uh, rear fender or rear body panel on and you can see where it still looks a little I don't know naked but it's gonna it's gonna look a lot better once I get all the 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 pieces on it but what I need to do now and I'm gonna try and do this one-handed I'm gonna sit right here and see if I can see if I can get a uh, bird's eye view here <clears throat> remember I've got a tell a story grab this pump try and put it on here hold everything in focus and juggle three balls at the same time and sing the German national anthem backwards okay this is the Bosch pump right here it has a uh, which isn't this is nice it has a arrow to tell you which way it goes so and then it has I'm gonna have to find some fittings for that but it's a really heavy-duty pump they're about seventy dollars but I don't know how much gallons per hour compared to the old one it, it does what I'm going to do is tilt the camera right here. It's late. It's late at night, and I'm. Let me get the the this seat a little bit closer. It's one thing about being 60 is I don't have the. Uh, um, I don't have the elasticity I used to have back when I was a porn star in the 80s. But that's another. That's another video series. We won't talk about that. Oh, do you guys want to know what my porn name was? I'll tell you. I was called Magnum. For the man who's larger than life. Kind of had a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Okay. So this hose here will be cut and put on to right here. And then onto the end of here, and you want to leave enough gap so that you're not hose to hose. It does sound like a damn porno, or um, like that. So this will go on here, and I might even use this um, black hose that I have right here. For some reason, my Dio likes black hose. So do all my ex-girlfriends. <laughs> God, I'm just a poet and I didn't know it. Anyway, um, the this uh, uh, washer hose right here, it's made for um, dishwashers and and um, other other household things. It's a little bit wider inside diameter, and you can see where this uh, this is about three quarter, <coughs> or I'd say. 5 eighths outside diameter and you can see it fits over the top of the intake so the water will come in here right from here from the radiator which should be right here right behind here it will go all the way down this side underneath all this beautifully done work I've done and you can see the hose coming out right here and it will fit onto right here and then I'll have a little bit of extra and it will clamp onto here then what will happen is the water will circulate these the, this top head chamber and the bottom of the cylinder are two separate sealed chambers they have an ingress and egress or a intake and an extake so the water will go in the bottom it will swirl around the bottom of this, not this one. <clears throat> it will come out of the bottom uh, chamber right here, travel up this hose, go into the upper chamber. It will swirl around there, and then it will go out the exit right here, which this hose right here will clamp on and capture. So my only problem is that 
this is what this is a problem I have. Let's see if I can hell. Let's see if I can do it like this. This is the diameter of the hose that I'm using. And as you can see, it barely fits on right here. Okay. Now the way to make that work is just like I did yesterday is you get some boiling water you stick however much long of this you want in it it will turn this stuff just like to saran wrap and you can easily get it over the top right here and then the other side will fit right there and then I have to hook up the rear positive and the negative to this switch right here that red switch when that goes on the light goes on and and we're good to go so we've done the the um, castle nuts and the, um, the other nuts and next video